Hello, how are you? Nikita here with Just You Soap Company. So today's soap is going to be one that we're making to assist people with uh, underarm odor. If you're having issues with underarm odor, we have a soap that we believe can assist you. We are, it's in its testing stages, so we're making it. We're going to give it to a few people, let them give us some reviews so we can tweak it if needed. I don't think it's going to need to be tweaked because of what's inside, what's in the soap. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you what it's going to look like. <laughs> so stay tuned for the video so that you can see what we use to make this soap. Um, and as always, if there's anything that needs to be linked in the description box below, we'll be sure to link it. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, be blessed, be in peace, and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so if you saw the introduction, you know that we are doing a soap that is intended to help with um, underarm odor, okay? So um, I know someone uh, that has underarm odor and we wanted to develop a soap to see if it could assist them. And then we were watching a video for something else and um, there was a woman on there and she said that she had underarm odor. So she was trying some different deodorants, natural deodorants to see if they helped and she had gotten one and it didn't, whatever. So I know there's a lot of people that have this issue. So... Um, my hubby said, let's do a soap. So he looked up the ingredients to see what ingredients or what um, substances, if that makes sense, I can't think of another word to say, uh, actually help underarm odor. So two of the ingredients or three of the ingredients were aloe, apple cider vinegar, and tea, uh, green tea. So we already make a soap with aloe and apple cider vinegar in it. It's our Yanni soap. So I said, oh, this is easy. So it's just a version of like the Yanni soap, but it's for your underarms, okay? So what I did was we did the soap, but the amount of aloe and um, vinegar that I used uh, was uh, too much for a bar or for the amount of uh, melt and pour that we used because uh, we were using melt and pour for this soap. So um, it was too much. So you see that bar is very flimsy. Now in a few days, it would actually, it's actually going to get hard because it's not as flimsy as it was, even though you see how flimsy it is, but it's uh, getting harder, but it would take a few days. So what I'm going to do is add, this is a pound of clear base melted pour soap, which is what I don't know if you can see it, but that's what I have here. So what I'm going to do is cut up what I already did just very roughly, and I'm going to melt it back down. Um, and I'm not going to do 30 second bursts. I'm actually going to do it probably in 15 because I don't want it to get too hot because as I said, it already has the um, aloe and vinegar in it. So I don't want to mess it up. And also already has the green tea in it. So what I'm going to do is do it in 15 second bursts and see if that will get it down to where I want it to be. And while this is doing its 15 second burst, I'm going to... Uh, or I may just go ahead and do it, which is cut up the clear base melt and pour. One more pound, I think, will do, will get it. Um, I don't want to do two more pounds. I think one more pound, one more pound will get it to where um, I want it to be. And then what I'm going to do is once all of it is melted, I'm going to let them cool down to about 118 or 115. I do have my um thermometer here the laser thermometer uh and what i'm gonna do is then mix them together and the point of letting them cool down is so the uh tea tree or the tea tree so the green tea will be um suspended because i don't want it i don't know if you saw it or not but i can show you the piece so it sunk to the bottom there's still some at the top but it sunk to the bottom and I let it cool down. I guess I should let it cool down some more. So I did, I let it cool to about 119, I think. So I'm gonna let it cool to about 115 and see if that uh, gets it. So we're gonna cut this up and I'm not cutting it real small cause that would take too much time, but I am, well, but I am cutting it um, in cubes. 
so it won't take so long to melt. So I know when I I know actually as a fact, as a matter of fact, when I cut them this size, it's gonna take three rounds of 30 second bursts for this to melt. And also just note when you are making soap, if you're use if you're doing this as your business, whether you make cold process on well, I'll go back. If you use melt and pour, if you do melt and pour and cold process, when you do the melt and pour soap, some people use um, uh, pot crock pots to keep their soap, to melt their soap, and then they make big batches. But if you're just doing like one loaf or whatever and you want to do it in the microwave, you may want, you. Sh it would be good to invest in a microwave that you just don't use, that you use for strictly for your soap. And a microwave that you use for your house if you use microwave to warm up your food or whatever because it keeps it from going out quickly because when you're doing soap they're going to go out like really fast we've gone through a lot of microwaves since we've been doing um soap especially when we added the melting pour to it so anyway so i'm going to put you on hold and then i'm going to melt all this down and i'll be back okay so you missed me combining this because i have paused my pause the video and I forgot to unpause it I thought I did and I didn't so what I did was I combined the portion that I remit that I melted back down that had the green tea and everything already in it I poured it over into just the clear base that I uh, chopped and melted and what I was saying was is that um, combined it's now 144 the one of them had cooled down to, the green tea one had cooled down to about 144 by itself. Or one, yeah, about 140 something by itself. And then the clear base by itself was like 159. So when I poured the cooler one over in it, it cooled down to about 144. It is 139 now. So I'm trying to wait till it gets down to at least, I'm going to try to do 115. I'll just keep checking it to see if a film starts to form on it. And that's fine if it does, because you can just stir it up. And if it's still warm, the film will melt. But I don't want it to get so cool that I need to remelt it. Then we'll just be starting all over again. So I'll see what it what it looks like at one um, 118. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop the video for now. Let this cool down to about 118. And then I already have my mold. I'm probably going to have to pull another one out. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out just to prepare just in case. And then we're going to spray it down with alcohol. We're going to pour it and then let it do. And then I'll let you see when we when I unmold it what it looks like, okay? So when we come back, we're going to pour. We are now at 119. I'm going to do it one more time. Let's see. Okay, now we're at one. Oh, yeah. Well, let me stir it up. That's what I didn't do. Let me stir it up. Okay, now let me do it. So we're between 118 and 119. I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Um, it's still really warm to still warm rather not really warm but it's still warm to the touch but that's fine so i'm gonna go ahead and pour it i got my alcohol which, bottle which i need to fill back up i spray the mold with the alcohol it helps with um the stick the sticking i'm gonna fill the cavities up uh oh i'm losing some i don't know why it's doing that Use it down the side of the that's weird. It's never happened before. But anyway, okay. So got it pouring. So got a little bit left. So we are gonna be able, gonna have to use the other mold. So before I pull that over, let me get this so I don't know what this is. I've never had that happen before. Um get this up try to anyway before it dries uh okay get that out of the way pull this one over spray it i think i'm gonna stir it one more time before i 
And then, oh, let me spray this. Spray the top of this to get rid of those bubbles. And so we're going to end up with, it looks like, eight full bars. Oh, no, nine full bars. That filled up a little too much. Put some in here because that's not as full as the other ones. So it looks like I overfilled it a little bit too much. We'll just send it on. On this way, this way. There we go. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then we spray that down. Get rid of the bubbles. Spray this one more time. There we go. So here we go. So we're going to end up with nine bars. Fingers crossed. When we pull them out, they're going to be harder. But I'll be back to show you what they look like once it finishes. And hopefully, again, the T will stay suspended and won't sink all the way down to the bottom. But if it does, it's fine because you'll still get the benefit of the green tea being in the soap. So I'll be back. Okay, so here's the soap. It is um, hard enough to unmold. So give me one moment. I'm going to just put some paper towel down and put, the, put it on the paper towel. Okay, and I also just realized that I... Um, <laughs> shot this whole video <laughs> with minimal light but at any rate so i'm just gonna unmold the um the bars i'll just start with this one so the green tea still went to some of it not all of it but went to the bottom and then it looks like some of it is suspended in the soap and that's fine um i think that whatever effects um are gonna happen because of it being in the soap, are still going to be vital. So here's the bar. That's the top. And then here's the bottom, or it could be the top. I don't know. Um, but what I'm going to do is just let them... Um, it's a little higher than it's okay. But anyway, um, I'm just going to let them sit out for a little while, maybe a day, um, because they're still a little flimsy, and that's fine. Um, but I just want them to be harder before I give them to people to try so these are not necessarily for sale as of yet uh what i what we want to do and what we usually do is when we do bars like this um depending on what they are um we have people try them first and then give us feedback so we know what if whether if we need to adjust the recipe try something different or whatever so um yeah so this is it so we got nine bars. So somebody's actually coming over this evening. So we're going to give them a bar for them to try it. And then this is cloudy. The bars, the bars are always um, cloudy. And the reason why it's cloudy is actually because of the aloe and apple cider vinegar. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just because of that. And then, of course, the brown color of it is the tea. So there you go. That is our apple cider and green apple cider aloe and green tea bar it doesn't have a name yet but it is specifically for underarm odor any bar soap it, this particular bar soap you can use it on your whole body but it is specifically for um underarm odor we're trying to assist people in getting rid of underarm odor because it's a lot of people nowadays are having issues with underarm odor, I can only imagine it's because of a myriad of things but you know what you eat um, your body, you know, uh, emitting uh, what you eat out of certain pores is probably that. Um, some people, the deodorant they've been using for years, all of a sudden is not working anymore. So it could be a lot of things. So I'm hoping that this um, this does work and uh, we will give you an update in the comment section, in the description box below as far as are we may do a video, I'm not sure, to let you know what the reviews are for this soap. So if you want to use it in your own line, you know, you could possibly do that. Also, we do do wholesale orders. So after we do get feedback, if you'd like to contact us to do a wholesale order of these bars to offer in your own uh, on your own website, Please let us know. We do do wholesale order orders for our Yachty bar, um, which is, it has a regular bar. We have a Rose Dream bar 
and right now it's called Hocus Pocus on our website, but that name is actually going to change, but it's going to be the same type of um, bar, but we do offer wholesale, so you can co contact us um, at Just You Soap Company, Just You Soap Company at gmail.com if you'd like to discuss possibly wholesaling with us, okay? So as always, be blessed, be in peace, and we will see you next time.